Hey guys, it's Morgan Zeggers, and the problems with China's unethical behavior have reached a new level this week, just as the greedy, unethical elites of this country have reached a new low. Here's what happened. First, for those who maybe aren't aware of it yet, communist China is responsible for more deaths than Nazi Germany. The Cultural Revolution, the Great Leap Forward, and the elimination of pretty much any opposition to the CCP has led to tens of millions of deaths at the hands of the Chinese Communist Party. In recent history, we saw China force abortions and sterilizations onto their population via the one-child policy. We saw tens of thousands of pro-democracy protesters just disappear. And now, even the U.S. government has acknowledged that communist China is committing genocide against the Uyghur Muslims, on top of throwing them and others into concentration camps and forcing camp detainees to work as slaves in factories that often make goods that are then sold in America. Well, things got spicy this week when footage of a podcast interview featuring the co-owner of the Golden State Warriors is exposing him saying, quote, nobody cares about what's happening to the Uyghurs, okay? He went on to say, quote, I'm just telling you a very hard, ugly truth. Of all the things I care about, yes, it is below my line, end quote. Ugh. No matter what your domestic issues are that you care about here in America, it's really no excuse for ignoring and not caring about the genocides that are occurring anywhere in this world. But this is just one of the many examples of elites with big platforms in America using their influence to appease communist China's terrible behavior. This comes right in the lead up to the Beijing Olympics, and as we are getting closer to the day, communist China is locking down its people and apparently making Hong Kong kill over 2,000 pets after they were blamed for spreading COVID. Even worse, athletes about to compete in the Winter Olympics in China were warned by Human Rights Watch and other advocacy groups to stay silent, to stay safe in communist China, especially after even the International Olympic Committee warned athletes that they will be unable to protect the athletes if they choose to protest in China or critique the Chinese authorities. But yeah, sure, let's all act like everything's fine and let's go compete for some sports competitions in this communist regime of a country where they could disappear our athletes at any moment. Sounds like we're sending a great message to the world.